Hello and welcome back to another Talk War Gaming tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how you can paint the Concord Strike Trooper from the Gates of Antares miniatures game. I'll be using the Army Painters range of paints to do this and even though I'll be painting a Strike Trooper you can use the techniques and colour schemes I'll be discussing in this video on any of the Concord units. So here we have one of the Concord Strike Troopers. Now I've primed him with the Army Painters Skeleton Bone Spray Primer as most of the armor is of an ivory color. So the first color that we want to actually paint is going to be Army Green and we're painting this across the upper torso, uh, the knee pads and the boots. And it's probably a good advisory to keep to hand um, an example of the painted miniature so you know exactly which areas need to be painted green. So now that we've painted all of the green areas, we'll next be painting the black areas, such as the face plates on the helmet, the weapon, uh, the gloves, and also the sections between the armor and also the uh, the grates on the backpack. And once again, as I mentioned before, it's best to get some examples, uh, painted examples, up so you know exactly which areas to paint. And we're painting all of these with matte black. So now that the base layers have been applied, we can now start with the washes and I'll be applying a green tone ink wash across the green areas of the armour. The second wash that we'll be applying will be to the ivory armour sections and this will be a light wash of soft tone ink. So once the washes have dried, we'll now start with highlighting. Now we're going to be highlighting the green armor sections along the edges with necrotic flesh. The next highlight that we will be performing is on the uh, ivory parts of the armour and we'll be using a mix of skeleton bone and matte white to do this. We will now be highlighting the edges of the black areas with a mixture of matte black and wolf grey. We'll now be doing a second highlight of the black areas using just a pure wolf grey and we'll be using a small dot in each of the corners to represent the extreme edges. The final steps are to now paint the weapon glow and also some of the optics and we'll be starting off with um, the weapon first of all so we'll be using the band just in between the kind of the end of the gun there and a few of the, the kind of the, the targeting system on the side there and we'll be painting this with crystal blue. I'll now be base coating the optics on the torso there with Dragon Red. I'll now be washing over the blue areas with Blue Tone Ink. I'll now be washing over the red areas with the Red Tone Ink Wash. So we'll now be continuing with a few more highlights and I'll be highlighting the blue areas with a small amount of electric blue.
I'll now be highlighting the red lenses with pure red. The final step for painting the Concorde Strike Trooper is to apply a small dot of matte white to both the blue and the red lenses. And here we have the completed Concorde Strike Trooper. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, all of the colours and techniques that I've discussed in this tutorial can be applied to the other Concorde Troops, as even the drones and all the other units actually uh, use the same paint scheme. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more Gates Venteri's painting tutorials, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best. So until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.